Early as, earlier this year, the province launched an Ontario-wide consultation on your child's education, and more specifically, the contentious sex ed curriculum. And while parents and members of the general public have been participating, City News has learned that a key group has not been contacted by the province, namely teachers and educators. It's unclear to me that there was a real purpose uh, for these consultations. I mean, I don't object to doing consultation, and I wish they would be consulting us more frequently because the ministry has largely closed its door to our input um, over the last number of months, which is highly problematic when they're not hearing the voice of frontline workers. These aren't just any workers. These are teachers and educators that actually work with your children every day. The folks who, who know what the day-to-day -day looks like, who know what kinds of issues uh, young people and children are raising in the classroom, and, and definitely those uh, representatives of those workers, their unions, should absolutely be part of a consulta consultation, and I'm shocked, frankly shocked, that the government has decided not to do that. We have teachers, we have parents, we have trustees, we have people participating from across Ontario representing every aspect of education, and so I feel very confident that voices are going to be heard loud and clear. But not necessarily the teachers. Oh, goodness, yes. They're one of our largest participants. Yes. Can you actually give us some numbers on yeah, how many? We, we're we concluding our consultation on December 15th, and then we'll be do, providing um, a review of everything that's come in, and trust that we will be making a nice announcement because we've had tremendous response. Several times this month, we've asked the government to provide us with participation rates and costs associated with the consultation. And as you saw, they refused. But we know that the elementary school teachers say they weren't consulted. No educators or unions were asked to participate or were notified. The government to date has not even met with us, an ETFO spokesperson said at a statement. But they were consulted extensively for the previous consultations. In fact, they had a hand in drafting the curriculum, something City News verified through a Freedom of Information request. That same request revealed that not only were parents and teachers consulted extensively about the sex ed curriculum over a series of years, but that a series of resources were being made specifically for parents, including an outline of the revised health and physical education curriculum, guides on the human development and sexual health component curriculum for all grades, reference sheets on topics such as consent, online safety, the risks of sexting, and mental health. And there were many more, and they translated those into 11 different languages. Parents we spoke with today say they haven't taken part in this round of consultations. No, I, I don't think I knew about it. I mean, I've heard about it, the whole thing. Uh, I know my daughter's school protested it. By all means, conduct consultations. I'm not sure that they had a, anything more than a political purpose in this case. But if you're going to do these, make sure you're talking to the people who represent frontline workers who know what it's like to be in a classroom, to be in a school. Now, the consultation process remains open until mid-December. You can head online to fortheparents.ca to have your voice.